This is our very awesome 21 Dodge Charger that uh, with 5.7 Hemi that we threw a Torque Storm Supercharger on. We're going to correct a small issue with it today. When we installed the Torque Storm Supercharger on this Hemi, we did not use the Torque Storm uh, blow off valve or gate. Instead, we installed our own little TL style. And we had to set up our own uh, boost hose, which I like to believe we set up really nice and, 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 and correct. Uh, here is our intercooler. And so the functionality that we got out of this is the customer complains that when he hits it really hard, his boost gauge spikes to over 12 or 12 PSI. So we're still running regular gas. And uh, he wants to drop the boost down a little bit. So let's get busy with that. On this Torque Storm head unit right now is a 3.1 inch pulley. Our customer has elected to size up to a 3.5 inch pulley and see what that gets. Him. First thing that needs to happen is the belt needs to come off. And then we'll throw this pulley on. And here is our 3.1 inch removed and the 3.5 inch is installed with a slightly larger belt. And from here, we just have to go for a ride and uh, make sure that we don't have any tuning changes from the pulley swap size. Normally we go to a smaller pulley and we're commanding more boost. And so in this environment, you, you're gonna have to do more tuning work because you're going to an area where you haven't seen before. But we're going the other way. We're going to less boost. So we're gonna go for a ride and see if we need any tuning work at all, or if because we went to less boost, uh, things just work and live and are happy. Okay. Uh, we want to clear out the uh, keep alive memory on this controller and let it uh, start all over again. This is a, a neural network driven controller and we did not shut down the, the ANN. We, uh, we kept it going. We just tuned the fuel injector sizes. And we kept it going because it's a bone stock 5.7 it's with the power adder on it. It does not have a camshaft or any other uh, wild mods. So it can still run the, uh, the living airflow tables and that's what it's got. Uh, however, it's a 2021 Dodge and connecting to any uh, Chrysler vehicle this side of, of 2018 is a thing. I'm real happy for us to have this ability, but... Uh, There's a thing about a secure gateway, and apparently all you really need to steal one of these vehicles is a, uh, a scan tool like this. I don't know how to do that, but... All right. Okay. See right now it's trying to check for act for uh, authorization, and it gets it. Yay! Right. I'm going to go into engine. Memory resets. You can't do this if you don't have your scan tool registered with auto auth and. Uh, all adaptive memory. All adaptives have been reset. Such a simple th task, but you cannot do that very easily on any 2018 or newer Dodge. And uh, there's some other vehicles that are starting to go that way, although uh, I think in this moment it's only Dodge. That's that's all we got to do here. Now we're, uh, we're ready to take this out and uh, Take on some tests, a road test, and and see how it responds to the uh, bigger pulley. And now we don't see over six. It's right where we want to be. And that brings everything.
we were doing to the 21 Charger to a close. Ready to go home.